Have you ever wondered how to do a photo like this? Well, I've never actually wondered myself, but either way, let's get into it. Hey y'all, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day today. And the other day I wanted to go out and take some flare photos. You get these from boating stores, by the way, if you didn't know that, but they only come in orange. Being a creative, I wanted to kind of just shake it up and just be like, okay, like maybe red would look really cool or green or purple or something like that. I took it into Photoshop afterwards. I decided to kind of shake it up by like doing a bit of purple, but also a bit of orange as well. So I had that contrast. Turns out after I posted that photo, one of the most commonly asked questions was, can you please do a tutorial on how to make this photo turn out like this, like with the colors and stuff. And so that's what I'm doing right now. But except this time, I kind of want to shake it up a little bit as well, even just doing this tutorial. I'll show you guys how to do it. But at the same time, I want to try and kind of push myself and see if I can add some sort of like lightning effect inside it to just push it that step further. I have no idea if I'll be able to do it. I'm actually not great in Photoshop at all, but I guess we'll just have to see. So let's do it. So open up Photoshop. Woo! No, I don't like that. Far out. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. So with my head, I actually like to apply the LUT to it. So what I do is beforehand, I'll set it up so it will look the best when I put the LUT on it. Usually I'll increase the exposure and then I'll bring up the shadows and then I'll lower the highlights so I'm retaining a lot of the information in the highlights and then I'll decrease the contrast to something like negative 70. Make it a little bit cooler. Okay, now we've got it in Photoshop. So what I do is I will apply my LUT. So load 3D LUT. Apply that light, boom. That already makes it look really dope, but we don't want it to be orange. We want it to be something different. How do I do this? How do I do this again? <laughs> I've forgotten it. So what we want to do is we want to click on this thing right here. It says selective color. And what this does is it allows you to change all of the colors. Like it might be reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, magentas, whites, neutrals, and blacks. You can actually adjust them all individually. So when you do that, say if you want to adjust the reds in the photo, it'll adjust everything that's red in the photo. So that like, say for example, there's a little bit of red in the orange. So it'll adjust whatever's red inside that orange, if that makes sense. That is way too green. This is so ugly. What am I doing? Okay. We're sort of, no, that's ugly. Ah! We, oh, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay, let's just go for yellow. Decrease the magenta. Nice, increase the yellow. See, as I increase the blacks on this, it'll increase the darker bits of the flare. You don't want it to be completely all the way to this side because then it just looks really blown out. And so, <clears throat> that's way too much. We might have it like maybe 40. So this is before, this is after. I actually like the before better, but just for the example, we'll just use the after. <laughs> so now what we want to do is we want to make it so you can actually see the orange bits in it as well as the yellow so we can have that contrast sort of thing that you want. So what we want to do is we want to click on the selective layer. We want to double click on this white thing, this white rectangle on here and then enter and select mask. Fuck's sake, what is going on? Oh my God, my Photoshop is screwing up. Oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> That was such a stuff around. So you want to go into the masking thing. Make sure the thing is selected on the red overlay thing. That's just like the easiest way of doing masking for me at least. And then make sure it says selected areas. So now that I've got that sorted, we want to go over to this thing over on the left hand side, which is the brush tool. And then we'll click the minus. You can see that as I draw it, like you can, oh no, you can barely see that. Why can't you even see that? For fuck's sake, how do you? Okay, I'm gonna increase the opacity on the mask because I just can't see it otherwise. But as you can see, as we start to draw on it, you can see that the stuff is kind of getting left behind. And when you leave that behind, if you just press okay, you can see that it's orange, whatever's left behind. So in this example, everything that's inside the brush is what is going to be not affected by the selective color. It's just erasing it pretty much. Just like kind of splotch it around a little bit. All right, and there you have it. And also if you want to change the color, like you can always change the selective color at any time. So see if I wanted to change it to like maybe a little bit more yellow or maybe have a little bit more orange in it, I can just do that. Just, you can do that after you've done the masking as well. So don't worry about picking your color at first because you might want to change it afterwards anyway. So yeah, that's how you do it. Now let's try and add some electricity into it. I have no idea if this is going to work and it probably won't work, but let's try it anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
turns out, yeah, nah, it doesn't look good at all. <laughs> Anyways, that was kind of fun. Even though I didn't achieve what I set out to achieve, at the end of the day, I just created something and that's what matters. Create something today, even if it sucks. That's what I go by, but anyway, if you have any questions or comments or if you have any other ideas for photo film Fridays, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.